Before we proceed with the actual video, a short statement. Yes, I'm aware that Nurk FPV announced that the DJI Goggles 2 will get the compatibility mode until end of the year. I know this video exists and I know exactly what he said. However, however, here comes my built-in pessimism. I will believe it when I will see it. And please treat this video as the argument why not having the compatibility mode is a stupid move from the DJI side. That's all nothing else and now the actual material let's really talk about the compatibility of the new goggles with the well current generation of air units and vistas i do think that this is only a decision of the product department of the dgi i don't think that this is the decision of the engineering and uh, my gut feeling after working for more than 20 years in the software development is that uh, this is only a software lock. I know, yes, I know that uh, some people say that, oh, DJI is experimenting so much with the uh, new protocols, etc., etc., etc. That is a natural thing that the new goggles are not compatible with the previous generation of the hardware. From the experience of really of 20 years in the software development and putting different products on, on the market, I can say it like that. Nobody builds a new product as a new product. Every new product is based on the previous product. The cases when something brand new appears on the market are extremely rare. That means if you have the product that well is kind of working quite nicely, when you are preparing a new version, you take what was invested already in the development in this product and then build on top of that. And that means that uh, even if, for example, the chipset is different, I'm pretty sure that the protocols, compressors and a lot of hardware and the software solutions between those two generations of goggles are actually exactly the same. And if anybody would, anybody, but who is anybody, most probably only DJI, would decide, okay, we are making them compatible, they could do it. That's, of course, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm not saying I know because I don't know. This is just something that I can um, tell based on my really like a long experience of creating software and also the hardware products that is on the market. Because someone on the DJI side uh, decided that, well, yeah, we don't want to have anything to do with the FPV hub because it's giving us only the bad press they just decided no let's do it only with the avatar maybe with uh, something else and then let's see observe worst thing that can happen after a year or so we will uh, release the new firmware that will make the goggles compatible my video about the uh, goggles which is like got 8000 views in like two days which is my personal best a lot of people said that they would buy the goggles if they were compatible. That means that there is demand. That is that there is potential. Uh, there is a potential in the in the selling of those goggles, not only to the new people that want to go into the FPV, but also the FPV pilot to just well get something nicer. How many units? I have no idea how many units, but this looks like a considerably big uh, piece of the of the pie that that we have over here in the RC in the and the FPV hub. If I was responsible for the marketing for the product for the goggles, I would make them compatible. And I think this would be a good decision that would bring the company more sales. However, I'm not so maybe maybe there is something else. Maybe there is something else, but currently without really like knowing what's going on, what is the real plan behind the DJI, we cannot yet tell.